Hey guys, uh, wanted to make a quick video uh, talking about fellowship meals and it has been a while since we did a video together. Um, I think it's been two years at least, maybe longer. Yeah. Uh, we did some of those marriage videos together. Um, but yeah, we just wanted to speak into the hospitality issue for a minute and, um, and talk about these fellowship meals I mentioned on Sunday uh, that we would start this coming Sunday. May 1st. And so that happens in a few days uh, this coming Sunday, and we wanted to explain the practicalities, logistics of that, and then also just renew our minds um, for a second on on what the Bible says about it. But we were thinking even, you know, this isn't new to our church. Um, we've been doing fellowship meals even right after the service since the beginning. And yeah. Um, yeah. You, were, you were reminding me about that earlier. Yeah, I remember when we first started with about you know, six people in our living room. I remember cooking lasagna every week for all of us to eat after um, meeting and praying together and and talking about, you know, what the Lord would do with our church. And um, it was just a wonderful time. And we actually, when we moved to our first facility, we did meals together every week. Mm -hmm. um, and it was such a wonderful time of, you know, fellowship and deepening relationships and, and meeting visitors um hmm. so anyway I, I know that when we um you know got our our building one of the first things that some of you asked was when can we have meals together again yeah. um and so this is an answer to that yeah. question um and i'm excited yeah yeah and and it's you know this if you, if this hasn't been a part of your life is just either inviting people into your home or eating with other believers regularly um, you have a truncated Christianity um, because Jesus assumes this will be part of his followers' life. Uh, so he makes assumptions like he says, when you pray, when you give, uh, when, you, um, when you fast. And so there's some assumptions he makes about things that will be in, in believers' lives. And in Luke 14, 12, he says, when you give a dinner, when you give a feast, and, and so it is an assumption that his people will be opening their table uh, to others and, and feeding them and, and cooking meals and, and sharing meals together. That is, that is part of the Christian life. And so, um, so there's other passages. Uh, Romans 12, 13, seek to show hospitality. There's 1 Peter 4, 9, be hospitable to one another. It's a one another command, be hospitable to one another which obviously could be the home primarily, but uh, bringing people into our church building, um, I think is in that stream of hospitality as well. But it says, be hospitable to one another without grumbling. And there's the big, uh, you know, helpful part of that verse, yeah. without grumbling. And that's how this could land on us if we're not careful. And I want to just say pastorally, um, guard your heart here because... I know on Sundays, sometimes people are tired, uh, that nap is seeming really appealing, and, and go watch some football, and just put your feet up the rest of the day and relax, or go out to the beach, or whatever you may do, and certainly there's three other weeks of the month to do that stuff. We're advocating for one month, uh, one week out of the month that we would stay and do a fellowship meal, so Priscilla will explain that more in a minute. Um, but this shouldn't be something to grumble about. This should be joy producing. This should be a blessing. It's on a, honestly an honor in scripture to get to feed and even give a cold cup of water to those who are Christ's disciples, much less a, a meal. And so we should be honored to bring food and, and, and bless the people of God, not just our brothers and sisters that are members of the church, but new people that show up. Um, and then evangelistically, there'll be non-believers that will come to the service. We'll get to invite them and share the gospel with them. And so there's just so, so much opportunity for the one another's to, to happen and for evangelism and discipleship to happen that this is just um, a good step in the right direction and something very historically a part of our church and Christianity. Absolutely. Um, so maybe you can speak, though, about just practically what are we doing this week and onward uh, structurally with this? Um, okay, well, first of all, I want to um, actually give a shout out to Andrea Hausen, who is going to be heading up 
the hospitality ministry. And if you are gifted in organization or or want to help in that, please talk to her. I think she would love your help um, and your encouragement even. Um, but here's sort of the idea we're having is if you are a family with kids, um, bring a main dish that you can share. Um, and if you are a husband and wife or a couple, just bring a substantial side. Obviously, you are welcome to bring a main dish as well. We just don't want to put the burden of always bringing a main dish. But um, you're welcome to do that. If you're single, we're trying to make things as easy as possible. And if you want to bring quick pickup items such as pizzas or buying a side um, at the grocery store, picking up a dessert or different things like that, those are welcome. We just want the whole church from married to single to any age to be able to partake of this meal. And also we'll make sure that we'll have, um, you know, just outlets for um, instant pots or, or, or just crock pots, anything that you might bring like that. I know the, the kitchen is functional that you can maybe put something in the oven that might need to, to, um, to be heated up. So we'll try to make sure those are there. But for this first fellowship meal, we may need your help. On Saturday, we're doing a big cleanup of the fellowship hall. Yes. And we would love um, some of you to come and help out. And so that we can just start off our meals in just a wonderful clean room. Um, what a good what a good way to start. Yeah. Um, so anyway, just I think if you have any questions, please contact Andrea. And, I, and obviously, you're welcome to contact us as well. Um, yeah, um, I, I think it's worth noting that if, if, if we can, once we get the ball rolling and you start showing up and doing this, if you haven't before, uh, I think you'll realize this is actually much easier than driving home and having to cook a meal. And, and, you know, especially for those of you who are just two people or, or one person, you know, you're going to get a full meal and you bring a, a side of green beans. I mean, that's a no brainer in terms of how much easier that is. Um, but even a, even a family, you know, if you got a few kids, like you cook one item, like cook a, a lasagna or cook a, you know, go grab some fried chicken that's a block down the road and bring it back. You know, bring enough for your, the, the, here's the general idea. Bring enough that you're carrying your own weight. You're, you're feeding enough for your own family plus a little bit more because uh, we need enough to, in, to invite visitors and those who are new um, or this isn't going to work. So, so you can't just show up with nothing. Um, and expect to for that to work like we're not going to have enough food so bring enough for yourself and for um, one other person I think is a good rule um, and we should be good to go um, it, I'm excited about this I think yeah uh, what a way to celebrate the Lord's Day yeah it's just it's the Lord's Day and we want to spend it with the Lord's people and you know uh, we will give more info later uh, regarding how this ministry could evolve and like what this could look like in the future we want to start with the low bar and and work our way up we don't want to overburden or overcommit um and so we're starting low and we want to to progress in this and then here's the other thing though once we get that fence outside once we lord willing get a playground and a pavilion outside some barbecue grills all of that um this is going to be far more enjoyable because we'll have the fellowship hall and you can go outside and we can do the whole church at times. Like there's just it, there's a lot of potential for this to be even more a blessing um, once we get those things in order. Absolutely. But let's get the ball rolling. Let's start this week and uh, and and eat together. So three city groups this week will meet together. Your city group leader should have already told you that. Um, and then we'll take a week off, and then we'll have three more city groups that'll meet together. And it'll be the first week and the third week. Uh, rotating and so if you're in a city group you only show up once for these meals don't show up every every time they have it um, <laughs> unless you bring food I guess uh, if you keep bringing food you could do that That's true. Um, so blessings guys hope this is helpful we'll see y'all Sunday <laughs>